Hey guys, the objective for this video and the video to come will be to find the permanent and imposed actions on the column C1 with, with and without live load reductions on the ground floor. Just in this video, I'm going to be finding the permanent actions. So, just a quick schematic of what's going on. It's always good to draw these diagrams just to sort of get an understanding of what's happening. So, we're going to be finding the load in column 1. Now, what's this column taking? The first thing it's taking is the load from the girder. Now, we've said in the previous video that we have the slab, um, we have which transfers into the joist, which then transfers into this girder. So we've got a lot of load in this girder transferring into the column. We also have a section of slab which we haven't accounted for yet. So if I take you back to when we were finding um, the load in the joists, so back to here, we were looking at a tributary area like this, which was then replicated everywhere else. So also there, there, so it looks something like that, okay? So that's the entire tributary area for those joists, so for that slab. So this section of slab here hasn't been accounted for yet in our calculations. So that section of slab is taken by the um, exterior girder, B3. So we need to account for that. And then also there's going to be an actual weight of the column. All right, so that's what's going on. We have the girder B2 transferring into the column. We have the exterior girder B3 transferring into the column. And then we have the weight of the column itself. So just to show you this again, this red is the loading in B2 from the slab and joist above going into column one. Now you can see that only this portion of, of the, um, the girder is going into the column because the other side, the other half of the girder uh, weight is taken by that column there. So we only need to account for half. We've only highlighted this blue here, the tributary area for the edge girder B3, because this area either side would be taken by those columns and we've already accounted for all of the tributary area above here has been taken by these joists already, okay? I hope this load path is making sense. It's quite important to grasp that concept. Okay, so 